Once you have a grasp on culture and corporate culture, it's important to tie that into what's called business etiquette. So business etiquette is conduct that is considered socially acceptable in the business world that is framed around that company's culture or even that country's culture. When we look at business etiquette around the world, it varies considerably from country to country. And so, for example, in Japan, it is customary to give gifts before or after meeting. Versus the United States, sometimes that can be considered illegal to receive a gift. It could be a bribe. Many companies have in place maximum amounts of gifts that an employee can even receive. In India, it's customary to have tea before doing business. Uh, that is similar in the United States. You'll see lots of business meetings. They'll offer water or coffee. That is a tradition that's followed here as well. Mexico, if you throw documents on a table or have documents on the table during a business meeting, it's considered a huge insult. Think of all the meetings I've been to here in the United States, and people have documents, they have computers up, they might have their cell phone out. So business etiquette around the world is very different based on culture to culture. And that's why we want to form a list of things that we should do and we shouldn't do when considering culture and etiquette abroad. So first and foremost, do be aware of the country's culture, any laws they may have or habits they may have. Sometimes businesses will hire a local manager or they will actually have their managers go live abroad if doing business so that they're immersed in that culture. Also, hiring translators is often good, especially if there's a language barrier from culture to culture. Companies that do not practice proper business etiquette abroad often find themselves in marketing disasters. So, for example, when Disney opened their European division and disregarded the French way of life, they had over 3,000 workers quit. You could potentially ruin a deal and lose the business of that, or you could majorly insult someone if you're doing something against their culture. So, Business, culture, and etiquette, super, super important to follow.